Barry Barbas from Glass Restoration here in Sarasota, Florida. Today we're going to have a quick video on how to ship glass. I have glass shipped to me from around the country and it's important to know how to ship it. I've received some glass that came out of the box broke and there's only so much that the shippers will do when uh, if it's packed properly and it breaks and you have insurance uh, they'll probably take care of you. But if it's packed very poorly, which I have seen, um, they're likely to say no, or it's the person who packed it is the problem and not the shipper. So we're going to show you a few ways and a few items to use that will protect your investment. And remember, I use the same products to send it back to you. I'll use all your own shipping. What you send me is what you get back. And if I have to go uh, out and purchase extra things, of course I have to pass that expense on to you. So first we're going to start out with some uh, pipe insulation. You can get this at Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, wherever you want to go, your home centers. Uh, it's made to put on copper pipe to insulate it. And it's got a little split in it already. So you can wrap that around the windshield and pack it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll move on to the next step. And there's step one. The full perimeter is covered with pipe insulation. So for a couple dollars, we protected the edges. But this car came to me all the way from uh, Muscle Car Restorations in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. And they did something I usually don't, but it doesn't hurt. They got a larger piece of pipe insulation and double wrapped it. This is an investment. It's a good idea to do everything you can to protect it. And proper packing when shipping is critical. That's what it looks like with everything doubled. So we're going to take bubble wrap and cut it to fit inside of the pipe insulation just to cover the surface of the glass and we're going to do that on both sides. There it is all bubble wrapped both sides and the pipe insulation on the corners. Next we're going to put it in packing blankets. It's all double packed in packing blankets and it's ready to go in the box. We've got a box that's quite big enough. We've got it padded on the bottom and we're going to fit the glass in and start filling the padding around the sides and the top. And there it is, packed and ready to ship. Of course, I won't know the shipping cost until I get to uh, UPS. And they tell me. That's why I have to take a credit card number. Because I'm going to charge to ship it back the same exactly what it costs. And it's probably close to the same as it costs to ship it to us.